Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, just a, a wee quick unboxing video here. Haven't done one in a while, so we'll get stuck in here. So, Ragnar tools here. Ragnar tools. So, first out. Bricklayer's jointing tool, brick jointer, and this will be used in my upcoming videos, which I have a couple of videos to upload, and this will sort of, I'll maybe talk about this in them videos, because I haven't got them edited yet, but this video will more likely be up before them videos, so you'll see that bricklayer's jointer coming in soon. Dragon Eye pointing trail. Let me just pop her open. The handle feels very soft. Very nice handle. And again, you just know I love that front grip. That'll be nice. Hopefully, get to use this on that contract if it ever comes back up around again. And the job I can't talk about. So, a bit of flex on it too, which is good. It's a 6 inch point trail. So that's that one. You, you probably already noticed these tools are all sort of for detailed work. Until, until this bad boy comes out, of course. And it's a mortar scraper with rounded corners. Side protectors on it there. Feels good, nice and light. A lot lighter than my dirty ones anyway, the top and chain is sturdy. Rounded corners, the back end's rounded too. So that'll be my newest bucket scoop. Again, this might keep, keep this set of tools specifically. Well, they will be used, the, the wee detailed tools, uh, struggling here, the wee detailed tools will be used for the detailed jobs that I'm doing and a couple of wee projects I'll be doing. And I was talking to a few subscribers about them. And so, small tool. Italian tools, eh? Ragna Italian, that's it, Italy. So, here, yeah, that's for detailed work. Nice and flexible as well. That's what you want with them. You want flex. You want the flex in them. So, that's a, that's a far better tool than any one I've had to date. And next, gazing trail. It's got a good bit of flex on it too. It's keeping its shape. Again, comfort. I'm going to be using this all day, that's going to be good. And this, these are good for when you're mixing up, scooping out too. But, believe it or not, I will be able to do wee bits and pieces with this as well, plastering ways. Again, detailed section. And, saving the best for last. Plastering trap. So, it's a wee bit thinner than my other rag dye trap. Uh, different colour handle. It's vice versa, the other one's black with grey around. But again, that's not plastic guys, that is rubber. Um, and it's comfortable. But the difference is, you'll notice, this is a high lift. High lift handle. But the other one was a bit lower. So, I might save my knuckles from getting cut open with this one. 
Um, and we'll, I'll do my follow up video and show. I'll do a follow up video and show the the difference in the height levels of that. And it does feel feels good to hold, which is the main thing. Um, so let's see the edges. So she's not a, a ready to go one. Spring steel. Not point eight millimeter spring steel. But she is she's a strong enough trail and she's a cement finishing trail. The other one, the other rag night trail I have, it took me a long, long time to break it in for skin. But this one I imagine will be just for my sand cement. But again, once I get broke in, it's no harm in using it for sand cement or for skin as well, sand cement. So, I'm going to be listening to the steel. And again, there's no rivets on these, but Rag and I don't do rivets on their plaster and shells, as far as I know. They do a laser weld. Um, if I hold it this right now, I can actually see where all these laser welds must be. But they reckon it gives you less of a, a ripple effect when you're traveling up. And it's all nice and straight. Well that's, that's the last two out guys and um, like I say I'll try and do a follow up video on the difference of handles because I know people were saying the other one was no good for glove wearers but this company does have both you know you have it's all, all about you you know what what do you prefer um, but I'm glad to get this in and give me another cement trial because like I say the other right now trial is almost ready for skin and um, if you've been following me for a longer longer period of time, then if you're just coming to this video, you'll know that I always like to have a brand new trowel for my sand cement. And that I like, when I'm skimming, to also have an, a brand new trowel for the corners. Sometimes I'll just come in, touch up the corners, and clean out the angles and stuff with a newer trowel. As you see, they're 100% square. Where, when you're working with these trowels, they, they, they round off with sand cement get a good edge spot. So that's the big horde of Ragnar tools guys and I'm sure there's going to be more unboxing videos to come and more tools to talk about and I do look forward to showing you the videos. I have a couple of projects already started and I'll upload them and you'll, you'll see where I'm going with the, the small tools and the detailed stuff. So thanks for watching guys. Subscribe for more Twin Talk and more classroom videos. Brothers! What we do in life echoes in eternity.